you know what would be helpful? To make the um, computer, usually if you have an old computer, make it run faster, you would install in, well, more RAM, but obviously normally the main thing is instead of having a, instead of having a clunky, spinny hard drive like this, where you have to go, click, click, so there used to be one terabyte one that I opened, now you would just install a SSD and it goes a lot faster, so that's what we're doing. I'm gonna put this SSD to the XP computer. So, this used to be one terabyte one that broke, so I opened it, now it's on my shelf. This is the exact SSD I used in the, um, what is that? Okay, this is the exact SSD that's in the, um, Inspiron. Really useful. So, get that installed, but first we need a, um, comparison for boot up and drive speeds. So, my idea was we to install Windows XP, but the X64 edition, only because this is a X64 based CPU. Maybe it's not, then I'll just use this. But I have that burned to a thing. So let's go work on that, getting that installed. And I have a time. Okay. Pretty sure I finished setting up. Oh. Yep. Yep. So, XP 64 bit on um, Spec 2. I'd say that took around 23 minutes. All right, so it's been installed, and let's restart the computer. Restart. Oh, I was gonna play. Yeah, you know, what? let's do that after it restarts. Uh, and now. Oh. Now I should be back. Actually, let's just install the let's just install the SSD right now. I can't. I still have to run the thing. Oops. Okay. Well, uh, yeah. Wait for this, and when it comes back, I'll show you the results. Okay, it's on. I don't know why the theme is like this, mm -hmm. but good. So those are the befores. Take a picture. Now we get to install this and play with this after, okay? So I'll put this on the desk, the computer on the desk, and we'll open it up. All right, so it's on the desk. This is the best second thing I'm gonna get. So let's install it. So first I'm gonna remove the old heart. First I need to remove this hard drive, which is Four screws, one, two, three, four on the back. So let's get to that. All right, so the side panel's been removed. You can see I can go through it. Um, right up there, one, two, and on the other side there's three, four. Let's upgrade those. Okay, there's our hard drive this anymore. Next, um, I'll leave the CD-ROM there. Let me see. I'm gonna move that. You'll see why later. Okay, so change this guy to master. Hold on. Okay. It's currently set to slave. I think I'll set it to, uh, Um, let's go with master, so, master, that goes in here, and then we have our power connector, which goes there, perfect, now we take our drive, then it can go, that's for the floppy drive, which I do plan to add, however, both of mine are broken and don't and only worked once on this. So, that's fun. But we have power here. Luckily, there's just a singular SATA power connector. And we should...
Okay, so we're in here. Yeah, seat recognizes it. So we have our master, then we have a this recognizes everything. Good sequence, floppy CD ROM hard disk, yes. Right, let's see if it works. Uh, I need to install I need to put the disk in. Apparently, there's nothing bootable. Okay, so now we're here. So let's hit enter. Change to SATA mode. Oopsies. That's what happened on the other. Oh, I did it, finally. Okay, so it's, um, next day, um, since the beginning, um, I took a break. If you notice, this is Windows, uh, 11. It's here. Oh. New volume. Ah. I can delete it. I can add stuff. 120. Copy Windows files. Currently installing it from a USB, but... Let's see if I can get XP installed. Okay, so it's been a while, more than a while, but I did it. I got the SSD to work and, well, took forever, finally did it can see I'm doing the tests here. Now, the screen is bad. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a line there. Let me see. And also some of the pixels are bad. Like that big black splotch. But, so-so. Um, so, but how did I do it? Well, I didn't film any of that. But I will tell you. So, we're getting this. However, I can remove you from the camera and I'll show you what I did. All I did was put a floppy drive here. That's it. I just need to add the set the SATA drivers. So I can get it. Floppy drive in. Perfect. Works like a charm. Maybe I'll, sh I'll show you the setup once this finishes, but I can't believe it worked. That's it. All I did was add a floppy drive. Got spent way too long getting the drivers. I reused the original driver CD, looked at the files on it. And well, it worked. Use the padding. Just waiting for this. Um, I'll reset that later. So once this finishes, well, I'll show you the setup actually. It all involves this stupid thing. So, put it in. We will see what's on it. Okay, so the first thing I did to get the drivers was to go to MSI's website and I just searched up the board model number. So, I did that and I take it and it takes me to this page. About the, about, this is my motherboard. Scroll down, drivers and downloads, perfect. Driver, XP X64. Extract files and do it through floppy when the setup. Yeah, well, that's all you do. So let's download this. It downloaded, perfect. Also that was Supermium, very nice. Uh, where did I download it, documents? Extract. Okay, so we have all this, and we have something called make disk. So you'd copy this to a floppy disk, and then you have to copy the drivers. No, this is not on a website. You just need your CD. So then, yeah, copy from the CD, copy from CD-ROM, chipset, VIA, floppy, and then you copy those. So, except for when you go to the DVD, which is this 
one. When you go to the DVD, you have your your what were we? The hell? Oopsie! I already forgot. There, chipset. So chipset. VIA. But the, look, look. There's nothing for floppy here. In chipset VIA, there's nothing for floppy. Where's, where's the option for floppy? I don't see it. Do you? No. Because you're just supposed to go to VIA RAID, driver, RAID, x64, copy these, but then have this in this folder. I'm pretty sure that's what I did. Let me check. So I have the floppy. Yeah. I have our diskette that I used. Let's open it. Yeah. No, this is different. What what did I do? This is text. Huh? Okay, I don't even know what I did then. Uh hmm. Driver Green X64. No. What did I do? How did I what? What 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 oh wait, hold on. I'm not sure what I did then. Ooh, you know what? There it is. Driver disk. That's what I did. I copied all these. Nothing that means I to do this. This is just a random guess. And I put it in. And it worked. It just it just worked. Here's here's the results. I'll talk about these after. And it, it just worked. I don't get it. But about to restart and I'll show you what it looks like with the setup CD. Do this, and then you hit S. Put in your thing, the one that you copied, like this. And then you hit enter. And then you click it. And it loads it. And then it works. And then you can hit enter. And it loads a couple more things. So then we can set up Windows. And. And. See, works. It pairs with this. You can hit F8. See? Repaired so it can read it. That's all I need. So, let's go back into this. Don't need your diskette. Oh, I have to quit. Uh, I have to quit. The... So that was it! Just that stupid driver. But the real problem was getting a floppy disk thing to work. That was a hassle. The read sequential 1M, whatever, whatever, increased by a lot. What, anything they decreased? Yes. The write speed decreased, decreased for those two. It in okay, the read speed increased a lot more. The write speed increased for the bottom two, but decreased everything else. I'm not sure what these mean, but yeah. Hopefully it's on your screen. What will we for this? Um Oh dear. I will Oh yeah. Okay. So well we did the entire thing. We can We're done. Yeah. SSD works. So that's it. Thank you. I'm so happy. Bye bye. Well, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, the fun things. I don't know what to do next. I have two minutes left on recording time. Because there's a lot more on this stupid SD card. So, bye. I hope you keep watching. Maybe it'll be a card, maybe there won't. Um, yeah. So, thanks. Hope this looks good. Please rate it if you don't. Or maybe do. I don't know. But, bye. Thank you. Hi. Editor me here. Um, so, thing is... It was the SSD that was the problem, not, not the computer itself. If you remember, the S that's the exact same SSD that's in the um, Dell Inspiron. And, well, I switched it with the one in there just to test, and that worked flawlessly on IDE mode. Basically, the SSD is kind of bad. So, won't be getting any more of those anytime soon. So, in total, don't get Patriot ones. They change something, now it doesn't work very well. I mean... Yeah, that's the moral. But, oh well. I returned it. 
and the replacement exactly the same so i'm also going to refund that that was fun also waste so yeah <laughs> fun